telling you guys, things have gotten so out of hand with Destiny and Amari. It's not looking too good. I don't know where it's going to end, how it's going to end, but I do know it's not going to end good. For years now, this thing has been brewing between Destiny and, Am and Amari. Um, Amari has been accusing Destiny of some things, you know, just, uh, for instance, stealing her man or trying to anyway, putting broken glass in her food, poisoning her food, a host of things. Destiny denied them all. Well, this thing has escalated to the point where we know that Amari has been putting hands on Destiny behind the scenes, and Destiny claims her mother has been putting hands on her. Now, we know this because both of them has gotten out there and made statements just um, verifying that this violence is happening off camera. But I never thought I'd live to see the day when Amari would say she did not care whether it's videotape or not, and she was beaten on Destiny with her boots, one of those big black boots with the clunky heels. As well as some of the object that appears to be a strap, some type of strap. But she wanted Destiny to leave her room. Destiny was refusing to leave her room. And I don't know why she was refusing. To me, if someone requests that you get out of their room, especially your parent, you will respect them enough to say, okay, mom, or okay, dad, and you leave. But Destiny says she's not leaving, and I don't know why she's not leaving. But it's to show the level of disrespect that they have for each other. That's all it is. Anything Amari is going to want her to do, she's going to put on her phone and say, no, I'm not doing it, because she doesn't respect her. Now, I've always maintained, when a child does not respect a parent, and it's vice versa and the parent hate the child to the point where they're cussing each other out and the child hates the parent where they're cussing each other out then it's time for somebody to leave and since the parent is paying the bills in this case amari is paying the bills the um the rent for the place etc it's on destiny to leave so I may always maintain from the time Destiny started to cuss Amari out, she should have put her out permanently. You don't put a child out who is cussing you out and then take them back in because you want someone to cater to you. That's what Amari has been doing. Every time she called the cops and the cops say, okay, Destiny, you have to find some place to go, Destiny will come crawling back in a few hours later Amari will take her back in because why? Amari claims she needs somebody to cook for her, to clean, to wash, do the dishes, run the errands, and get her dressed. She needs a personal assistant. So she claims, and Destiny is her personal assistant. Well, you can't have it both ways. If you want someone to do all those things, and that same person is cussing you out and fighting with you, then you don't need them. You need to put them out. So now that Mari looks like she really wants Destiny to leave, Destiny says she's not going anywhere. She's not leaving. So this thing is coming to a head now. I just saw a video. I cannot air the video. The video is full of violence. It's full of Amari hitting Destiny and Destiny fighting back. Because Destiny grabbed the boots from her mother's hand and threw it way across the other uh, side of the room. And she is dumping clothes out of the suitcase because apparently Amari's got to travel. And I think Destiny is dumping the clothes out of the suitcases because she figured she packed the clothes so she can take them out of the suitcases. So um, because Amari doesn't pack clothes when she's traveling, that job is also Destiny's job. And Destiny is fighting with her verbally. They're cussing each other out. And Amari says she's not going to stop until she misses the plane. So now Amari instructed Nikki to cancel the flight. And I believe this was supposed to be a business flight. But this cannot continue. 
I'm sure Amari is now realizing that even if she won content out of her daughter to keep her in the home for all the drama, for people to uh, stay tuned, and every time people tune in, click some views and monet, you know, monetization and all of that, she gets paid more money as a result. It's not worth it because you're losing dollars. If you're supposed to get on a business flight and go do your business singing or whatever in the studio with somebody else, whatever it is, you're losing money. And so this thing is just, it's just a horrible situation that Amari has put herself in. I blame Amari because Amari is the parent, Destiny is the child. I have seen where Amari has called over 10 times on Destiny for her to be removed. And each time she has taken her back. So that's why it's Amari's fault. Once you call the cops on your child, you got to carry through. You cannot double back and say, okay, you can stay because I need you to do X, Y, and Z. You have to say, okay, you're going to go. I'm putting my foot down. I don't care where you go, but you're going to get the hell up out of here. These cops going to escort you to where you want to go. Everything else that you think I need you for, I'm going to do for myself. But Amari has not been doing that. So Amari is to be blamed once again. I want you guys to listen to this madness, this video. It is full of violence, so I have to bleep out certain parts and cut, cut, cut. Because um, just for it to pass through YouTube standards, for it to be aired. But um, here is the audio. Um, so Amari stops herself at this point and she says Destiny wants her to miss her flight and now she's talking to herself and she's saying think Amari, think going on here amari has lost so much weight she's the size of destiny now so we know destiny is very strong i have seen destiny lift stuff pack stuff unpack stuff move the whole house all of that drag three four suitcases and have stuff sling across her head or shoulder and neck or back or foot you name it things were slinged okay that girl is strong so now amari cannot tussle with her because as Amari was trying to remove her from the room, Destiny just grabbed the shoe out of her hand, threw it across the way and sat down and said, call the cops, I'm not moving. So Amari, I'm, I'm telling you par uh, parents, it's not too good to be too skinny, okay? You gotta have some weight on when you are dealing with some headstrong kids. So when you put your foot down, you can be able to really put your foot down. They can move you and you can move them, okay? If you know what I'm saying. Let's continue to listen. her sister Nikki. Nikki just came to live in Amari about a month ago. And Nikki does not get along with Destiny at all. So now they're arguing. But the primary focus is Amari and Destiny. Let's continue. Call the cops. Nikki call the cops. I better go. Girl, I'm not fucking I dress. Shut up. Amari. You dress like this pamphlet. Look like shit. I do. So 
this is a teachable and learnable minute for our parents out there. Anytime you have a headstrong adult in your home, because Destiny is 20 now. Anytime you have that scenario, that person is not listening, that child is not listening, they want to fight you and cuss you and argue and refuse to respect you, you need to get them out of the house. By hook or by crook, get them out of the house. Do not continue to live with them because sooner or later, they're going to beat your ass. This is what's going on right now with Amari and Destiny. Destiny is fighting her back. It has gotten that bad. Let's continue. because she's supposed to be their sister. And now Amari does not want her to go. And Destiny is saying, I am going. Well, I don't know how this is going to be resolved. When somebody tells you you cannot go on that trip and you're saying, yes, you are going, that's utmost disrespect. So now Amari has called the cops to remove Destiny out of the house, but she's going to miss her trip because later on in the video, she has instructed Nikki to cancel the flight. Let's continue. You know what's gonna happen. You gonna carry on with this. Long enough for me to miss my flight. I want nothing to do with her. Nothing at all. Bitch, get out of my room. Amari will travel fucking solo, bitch. suitcase she did that with she dumped the clothes out and then she put the suitcase back in the room so I don't know what's going on in Destiny's mind that she's doing that maybe she didn't take her medication because she's supposed to be on some type of psychotropic medication and then I don't know what happened during the night but Destiny kept saying that her mother woke her up at 12 at night I think she said she was working all day trying to get some rest and then her mother woke her up trying to start some type of argument. So apparently this has been going on for hours, this arguing. I'm not getting the 100% story, the real story, because they're just stuck on get out of my room and, and Destiny saying, no, I'm not leaving. But on the lining, 
problem they're not addressing. What month? She's 20 years old. And she's wearing um, a brown, um, a brown, um, a brown jacket. Um, a blue pants. I think I'm, I'm supposed to reach the airport by, by five o'clock. And um, she refused to get out of my way. She refused to get out of my room. And she wants to talk to me any, any, any way. She just wants me to argue and to fight and to miss my flight. <laughs> my name is Benice Bonchon. V-E-N-E-I-C-E, -E -E, F in Frank, U-N-G-C-H-U-N-G. Well, guys, drop your comments what you think about the latest developments between Amari and her daughter Destiny. It's an ongoing soap opera because every other day it seems like there's a big fight. I mean, things it's not it's not a good look for Amari and Destiny to be carrying on this way as mother and daughter. Amari as the parent, as the mother. Should have put a stop to it a long time ago. You can't be hungry for content that you're going to use your daughter to create drama. Because she said originally it was all made up. I don't know if she's still maintaining that. But I know she had said this is all made up. Everything you see, it might be drama to you all, but they're making it up. Then they, you know, it's just fun and games for them because it's, their own little reality series that they're putting on a show. To me, that's no show, honey. That don't sound like a show to me. So what could have been a teachable moment is turning into a horror show because every minute the cops got to be called. Anyway, YouTubers, I'm over now. Drop your comments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the like button before you leave the page as well as the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed as yet. This is the time to do so. It doesn't cost you a thing. I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you for watching.